Step right up. Next question. Hello. Thank you for taking my question. First, I want to thank my fellow retreaters for all of the great questions that everyone's brought up so far. I know it's only been a few days, but my mind is like, <laughs> so. On that note, uh, I can't really stand here without acknowledging, wow, you've changed my life. I just, I love your books and your tapes, and it's, it's an honor to be standing here in front of you. <laughs> basically, basically think you're a total rock star, so <laughs> just kind of wanted to put that out there. So, um, where to begin? Um, my question is sort of big. Well, um, <laughs> you know how there's the planet? <laughs> And then there's, oh wait, uh, let me back up for a second. Um, I promise not to give you my life story, but to give you a tiny little bit about where I'm coming from. I have always been an outdoor enthusiast. Um, and then quick sidebar, about four and a half years ago, I fell while rock climbing and shattered my skull in um, eight places. Um, I just have, um, it just, you know, it looks, without the hat, you can tell. Um, <laughs> I survived, obviously, um, which was pretty much a miracle, truly, although I still have trouble remembering certain things, like um, the day of the week sometimes, which I think, which I think is pretty common, right? And, and how, how I like my coffee, which is more, you know, not that that's a big deal. That's generally like an easy process of trial and error. <laughs> so, um, anyway, cutting to the chase. Uh, I was in the hospital for about two years, uh -huh. during which um, I lost my job at a major marketing firm, and also my wife started sleeping with my younger brother, although I was not aware of it at the time, and then the week I got out of the hospital, I was the victim of um, an armed robbery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in which they took, you know, my, my credit cards, my wallets, my social security card, uh, which led to my identity ultimately being stolen, although I was not aware of that <laughs> at the time. <laughs> but after, uh, after my house burned down, um, <laughs> long story, <laughs> I became aware that I have bad credit due to the identity theft, <laughs> and uh, also some loans that I took out from my younger brother, who is a recovering heroin addict and also a musician. <laughs> short-term memory loss, which
which, you know, given everything, may actually be a blessing. <laughs> anyway, anyway, right, as I'm saying, I got a new job. Well, it's volunteer for now. Uh, at this place, Earthwatch. Uh, it's an environmental uh, and it's just that at Earthwatch, it's just become like very clear that that with what's happening, you know, with with the planet, um, well, just one example, there's there's like not going to be enough food left in 50 years. Crops are going to die out from like drought and stuff. And there's two two billion more people projected to be living on the planet by then, which means we'll have to somehow find more land to farm, which means even more trees will be cut down, which means with the greenhouse effect, everything will just keep getting hotter. And so we're talking mass migrations of people, wars over dwindling resources, species, species going extinct. Um, and, the, and the coral reefs are go. <laughs> it's, it's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 